Do you tell us what it was about Spring Awakening that attracted you as the founder of the Mood Foundation? Well, it just touches on issues that are a bit taboo, I think. Um, teenage pregnancy, um, you know, you've got subjects of self-harm and, and suicide. And um, the kind of mental health content, for me, is, is wonderful because it means I can go out there and talk about things that I think are quite kind of risky. Um, it, it, I think it, it, it makes mental health kind of um, maybe a little bit more obvious. So um, I naturally thought that working with, uh, with Spring Awakening was um, something that the Mood Foundation should do. So I guess it's a brilliant way to showcase what you guys do as well and to recommend that people see it. Who would you recommend the show to? Everyone. Um, but in particular, um, parents and, um, and teenagers. Because it kind of, you know that uncomfortable moment when you're at home with your parents and you're watching a, something on television and suddenly something comes up on the screen like sex or you know, God forbid, a gay kiss or anything, and, and there's a kind of quietness. I think it forces issues, and if um, people can see the show, parents and children, and then get in the car and go home, perhaps they'll communicate about some of the content, and, and that's what I would love to see happen. Okay, thanks so much for talking to us, Rupert. Have a great night. I will too, thank you.